The next podcast for R081 focuses on different pieces of legislation you need to know about. The first one then is intellectual property. This refers to the creations of the mind, such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs and symbols, names and images used in commerce. Put simply, it lets people own the work that they've created. And there are several different types of IP, including copyright, trademark, and patent and design. The type of protection that you need depends on the product that is being created. We're now just going to focus on copyright and trademark. Copyright is defined as the law that gives the owner of a written document, musical composition, book, picture or other creative work the right to decide what other people can do with it. Basically, if you create something, it's yours. And there's a law in place to protect your work. If you've created something, it's yours. You've got the exclusive right to it for a set period of time. And copyright protects the work so that no one is allowed to use it. They have to have asked your permission and you have to have granted the permission. So there's two steps there. They can ask and you have the right to say yes or no. And in order for them to use it, you have to have said yes. It's not simply enough to ask permission. You have to have been granted the permission. If you create something and someone asks for that, you can say yes, but you can also demand a fee for that. It's your work, it's your choice, and it's then their decision whether they're willing to pay that fee or not. If they don't, they can't use it. So if a business uses copyrighted material, the following could happen. People who look at that business could lose trust. There could be prosecution. Your brand could be damaged. It could be seen negatively that you've used something that you shouldn't have. And you could be fined and sued. If an individual person uses copyrighted material, the following could happen. It could re result in sales loss, unemployment, legal expense. Anything that you're doing needs to have copyright considered. If you're going to produce a graphic for R082, you can't just use any images that you want. That will breach copyright law. Creative Commons can help with that. This is a non-profit organisation that tries to make creative work available for others. It was founded in 2001. You have control over how to allow people to use your work, so you can set up licenses based on commercial and non-commercial, link back to the original and share future work. You still keep the rights at all times, but you are letting people share, remix and reuse your work legally, but under your terms. So copyright infringement often appears in the news. A very recent case is Atari v Nestle, where they say that um, Nestle used images from their computer games and phrasing, which was very closely linked, or exactly the same. Um, and they are silent to say that this was used in the UK, and we don't like it, we want him. Vanilla Ice um, released his hit Ice Ice Baby, some from parts of Under Pressure which was written by David Barry and Freddie Mercury. He didn't credit the song, and therefore he was in breach of copyright. And more recently, Ed Sheeran um, was sued by Martin, Martin Harrington and Thomas Leonard um, for $20 million. They fear that their song that they wrote for Matt Cardell, Amazing, had exactly the same um, notes and pitch as the chorus in Ed Sheeran's photograph. There are plenty of sites out there that help you find free to use images. This is just one example um, and it has free to use 
images and videos. And all of these have different um, rules on how to use them under Creative Commons. So you can search for an image and make sure that it's the image you want and then use it based on the different um, permissions given by the owner. So free to use for commercial use, for example, with no interpretation required. Trademarks are a way for a business to help people to identify the product that the business makes from products made by another business. A trademark can be a name, a word, a phrase, a symbol, a logo, a design or a picture. The trademark then is shown in two ways, um, either as a registered trademark or an unregistered trademark. Companies often place trademarks on their logos so that others can't use them. And counterfeiters are people who use trademarks illegally to produce very similar goods. And um, it's a massive industry and that's why the protection is there. Because counterfeiters make a fortune from replicating things that don't belong to them that are trademarked. So there are a number of famous trademarks out there. Um, and here's just a few of those, easily found by Googling. So, Hasta la Vista Baby was used in Terminator films um, by Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. It was registered in 2007. Let's Get Ready to Rumble was often heard at many sporting event, events, but Michael Buffer used this at the start of a boxing match and then trademarked it in 1992. Memory stick, we think of the name of a product. Actually, it is a, a trademark name. It's referred to as a storage device, um, but memory stick is actually owned by Sony. It's similar to how um, Hoover became the name of an appliance, but actually it is trademarked as a brand. Post it, we would refer to all sticky notes as post it. But actually, Poster is the name of a brand um, and owned by 3M. Sticky Note is the generic term. And then Taylor Swift trademarked a number of phrases, including this fifth beat from her 1989 album. Um, basically, that meant that other companies couldn't use phrases from her album and things such as t shirts. And how things are changing is that in 2015, Rihanna won a lawsuit against Topshop for using her image on a t-shirt without her permission. This starts to get into something called image rights, which aren't covered in the UK. Um, Topshop, Topshop was fined for passing off this unregistered trademark by suggesting that Topshop had an affiliation with Rihanna, which at the time they did not. You've got to be careful when looking at these things to make sure that you're looking at UK law at all times. So this question comes from the uh, June 2014 paper and the scenario is about a computer game. Um, and in it it says that question 3A is um, that during the game the main character will collect some coins and logos of various brands. The logos are trademarked royal company. So you need to describe what steps will be taken to allow the use of these trademarked logos in the computer game. And this is worth um, two marks, so you need to expand on your answer to get the mark. Um, so 3A says that in the mark theme, that two marks for a suitable response with the expansion. Um, and the examples are contact the owner of the logo, one, and obtain permission to use, one. Acknowledge permission from the owner of the logo, one. Include the trademark symbol, one. And in the additional guidance, it says that obtain copyright is too big. Um, you can clearly see that there is an initial point here of contact the owner of the logo with that expansion. Um, and it's saying that you need to contact the owner, but you also need to have permission. So the examiner commented on this in the report saying, in this question, candidates were asked to describe the steps that would be taken to allow the logos to be included in the game. The asking of permission was a common answer, but was not enough 
as asking permission is not enough for their use. Permission must first be obtained. So as a result, full marks were not common. So what the examiner is saying here is, you can ask for permission, that is the first part of it. But if you, the owner of the um, logo doesn't give that permission, it can't be used. Um, so that's the second point. As I said earlier in this presentation, just asking permission isn't enough. You need to obtain the permission as well. There are lots and lots of sources out there on copyright, intellectual property and trademark, some of which are really complicated. Um, you need to be careful that the sources you pick in are ones that are relevant to the UK, but also that they're easy enough to understand. Um, there's a lot of technical jargon out there. Um, BBC Brightside has some very good information about copyright um, and trademark, as mm -hmm. does the UK government's own website.